Hi, I'm Connor with Honor. We're going to do your daily real estate update. However, let's talk about just a resource that yours truly put together. And oh, it's so exciting. Look, there it goes. And it's going to come around one more time. This isn't easy. And there you go. Never made it as much of a cheerleader, but you got that. So Santa Cruz Open Houses, that's going to be the resource. You'll be able to find every single listing that is on the market for sale, including all of the open houses. And all you have to do is if you take this and you change Santa Clarita and you put in Castaic or Canyon Country or NewHallOpenHouses.com, you'll be able to find all of those as well. All right, let's talk about the daily and then we're going to talk about a little historical view that I heard elsewhere and the numbers seem to be a little bit incorrect. These are other up updates that I listen to frequently by uh, other folks in the market. So watch out for that. Yes, not holding back. All right, so coming soon, listings 12. We have 76 new listings that have entered the market in the past seven days. 60 properties have their prices changed. 22 properties have gone back on market. Uh, these are properties that are actually have been for sale, were in escrow. Something happened. Uh, a lot of times people are curious as to what that may have been. Your agent should be doing their due diligence, following up with the listing agent, finding out exactly why those first buyers happen to cancel. That's important to pass on to the new buyer because without that information, you're not gonna know the best way to approach the property. That is if the listing agent is being completely upfront and transparent with the agent making the phone call. Eventually, everything's gonna be discovered. In fact, even if they kinda of hold back information, which typically they should not be, but if they do, your home inspector will find it. Your whatever inspector will find whatever issue happened to be, if in fact it was a problem with the house. But in most cases, it's not really a house thing. It's more a buyer issue. Could be they lost their ability to finance. It could be they changed their mind. It really had nothing to do with the house. Or it could be that they, say they saw something better come on the market, which is a problem for sellers and could create a legal issue for those buyers. So if you are going to jump ship as a buyer going from one listing that you already have locked up because something better came on the market, something more attractive, and you're thinking about jumping ship, but you only want to do that if, in fact, you can secure the other property first, and then you can give the bad news to the seller on this end to cancel, watch out for those things because in some circles, those are looked at as games. And besides that, it could be a case where injury is caused to a particular party and that injury could have legal ramifications. So you wanna make sure before jumping ship, you know what you're getting into. Great advice, please go slow. Again, there's times to move fast in real estate, but not when it comes to you giving up particular conditions and rights that you have in contract. Giving all those up in order to secure a property in some times can put a buyer in a bad spot. So just remember that before you start removing contingencies as if you're moving articles of clothing on a hot summer day, you might want to slow down when you start getting to the nether regions. All right, let's move into the active under contract properties 30, pending properties 49. We did have 92 properties closed this, whack, this last week, actually sold. We see those numbers in the 70s for the most part. That is quite a big number, but we still are holding very steady in the 420s and 430s as far as active units on the market for sale. So that replenishment is still filling the void of listings that get sold here in Santa Clarita Valley. One of the things to look at is going to be time on market or days on market time frames. And again, if you're going to look at days on market, you're going to want to see if there is a CDOM or just days on market. CDOM would indicate some kind of a cancellation within 90 days, however, not giving a 90 day break. So the property doesn't come back as new. It actually comes back as having been previously listed. There's usually a story there. And in some cases, a buyer might be able to take it advantage of that. Make sure your agent covers that when they explain the buying process to you. Six listings expired, seven cancel, eight put on hold, two withdrawn. So what I've seen in the inventory lately, I have seen other folks talking about inventory and numbers back in January, talking about there only being just less than 200 listings on the market for sale. Trying to put those numbers together, I haven't seen those numbers unless they're talking about limiting all residential just down to one type. 
maybe single family residences could have had that 180 number in January as being total units for sale. Again, I do this daily update every day. It's a seven day snapshot of the past seven days, starting with today back. So for example, June 26th, Wednesday, 8.43 a.m., I track back the information when I pull the show and get all the notes and put that together for the folks watching. Let's talk about real quick what's going on in the market. It is moving very quickly. We are watching as home sellers are still being nimble, but in some cases they're hitting a wall. We're watching as they are doing price changes on their properties. I'll kind of give you an idea. So these price changes are running into the 60s. So we have 60 properties that have had their prices changed in the last seven days. That's why it's so proper and so important and crucial that you price your home correctly right out of the chute. Not in all cases does that work. However, it's going to depend, depend on other listings that you might be in com competition with and how their closings occur. If those closings happen to be during the time frame you're looking, then maybe that particular home price that you're looking at might be higher than the market will allow. If in fact they had something recently closed that was similar in nature, maybe that other buyer took less than really the market was would allow for because they're in a hurry to sell and that does cause issue in those neighborhoods because they sold it less than what market value would be. Usually one of those sales doesn't really thwart an appraiser's estimation of value for other properties. So one usually doesn't sink the ship. A few, yeah, that'll sink the ship. You get a few of those lower price sales, what we like to call fire sales or sales where people really just want to get out. They don't want to wait for the market or they hire one of these companies online that promise the buyer, the sellers out there that they're going to make the home sale very easy. You're not going to have to even show the house. We're going to buy it from you in cash. We're going to give you all this money and you're going to be able to walk away and be so happy. Read all the small print with all these companies. Typically, there are usually mandatory price reductions built into it. There's also a mandatory amount that they have to get out of the property. And if they don't get that amount out of the property, then it's not going to work with whatever promises they made about making the sale easy and perfect and no problem. Usually, when somebody goes out there and they're going to list your house and not put it on the market, there's usually a catch. So try to find what that catch is. Dollars to donuts, I bet you it's going to be a money thing. If you hold out and list it with a normal, regular, run-of-the-mill garden variety real estate agent, in fact, just somebody that does the basic marketing and advertising, not like Santa Clarita open houses or anything, that's still going to be better, folks, than using some of these companies that promise to sell your house hassle-free. Again, how much hassle is involved? As far as I'm concerned, and I do this every day and I encounter many buyers and sellers, it doesn't have to be that uncomfortable. You don't have to be woken up at 3 a.m. in the morning to be able to answer questions. Usually it's a nine to five prospect. And usually in this market where it is a seller's market, you have a lot of control over how those house showings go. And in fact, if you as a seller want to make it easy and don't even want your house shown until over the weekend, that arrangements can be made to have your property properly staged, if that's the way you want to go and have it built around open house advertising on weekends via Santa Cruz Open Houses or ValenciaOpenHouses.com or whatever system or website or area that you happen to be in, we can apply the, that particular website as well. I'm Connor with Anna. I do appreciate you watching today for your update. Again, knowing what's going on in the market is incredibly important. You knowing what to look out for, what to watch out for is doubly so. I'm Connor with Honor. Be well. We will talk to you soon and talk to you later. Connor McIver, over and out. Button.